A U.S. spaceship designed to one day fly astronauts to Mars blasted off on Friday for an unmanned trial run around Earth. A Delta IV heavy rocket, currently the biggest booster in the U.S. fleet, lifted off at 7.05 Eastern Standard Time from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. United Launch Alliance, a partnership of Lockheed Martin and Boeing that builds and flies the rocket, delayed launch by one day to resolve a problem with sluggish values in the rocket's first stage propellant system. NASA has been working on Orion along with a new heavy lift rocket for more than eight years. The design of the rocket has changed, but Orion survived the cancellation of a lunar exploration program called Constellation to become the centerpiece of a new human space initiative intended to one day fly astronauts to Mars. For its orbital debut, Orion, built by Lockheed Martin, is expected to fly as far as 3,600 miles from the Earth so that it can slam back into the atmosphere at a speed of about 20,000 miles per hour. During re-entry, temperatures on Orion's heat shield should soar to 2,200 degrees Celsius, close to what spaceships returning from lunar orbit will experience. Splashdown in the Pacific Ocean is expected around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. NASA has spent more than $9 billion developing Orion, which will make a second test flight, also without crew, in about four years. A third mission, expected around 2021, will include two astronauts on a flight that will send the capsule high around the moon. Since the end of the Apollo moon program in 1972, astronauts have flown only a few hundred miles above Earth.